Hey everyone, Hunter Shadow here, and after I don't know how many months, welcome back to Crush Crush. So previously, I went through the Valentine's Day event that was new for this year, and we got... Right, that's always gonna stump me. Anyway, we got Distimona out of that. And, a lot of people have been noticing on Reddit, we have something brand new going on here. That's because we have a spring event, well, the spring fling event coming up again. And, yep, so basically from April 15th, April 19th, who knows when this video will go up. But I guess at around this time it'll be about next week from now. But anyway, yeah, so Abby, if it wasn't obvious, is going to be a B, so... Go figure on that one. Who would have thought? But that's not what I'm here for right now, though. I'm still trying to play some bit of catch up here. So, yeah, I'm still just here like, what am I even going to do? I don't even remember. Oh my god. I just finished a term paper. It took me all night, and now... I just will <sighs> And she's gone. <sighs> anyway, I was gonna say, I don't even remember who, who else did I need to do besides Kira and Nightingale and some of them. Maybe I'll just take a gander at this first. So that's about it. So, yep, I guess that's about it. Let's see. So then that leaves me with... Kira, Nightingale, Grace, and Distemona. Hmm. Who am I feeling here? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just here like... You know what, I guess just because... I mean, it's almost practically summer over here anyway, so why not? You're hanging out on your favorite rock in the ocean when you see a ship sailing towards you, and... <laughs> I'm too sexy for my box. Okay, no. Mermaid Ho! Oop. A voice calls out, Mermaid Ho! As the ship draws closer and closer. It's getting way too close, actually. Yeah, have you ever heard of personal space? Thank you. Pirate ship crushed. Keep going! You're good! You're good! You're good! And stop. Ah! <laughs> Surrounded by fire and wreckage, you spot a beautiful damsel flailing in the water. What can you do but dive to pull her to shore? All the shores going ashore! No, wait, that's the Air Force. Woman overboard! Oh, you've already saved me. Now that was quick. Good job! Yes, indeedy. So, yep, this is Kira from I don't know how many events ago. But, let's see. Age 19, so she's pretty young, actually. April 13th at... Well, today is April 9th when I'm recording this, so, <laughs> you know. Hobby, writing, O positive, lifeguard, spinach, like Popeye, shell, pirate, badass, and C. Alright, so I guess let's go ahead and talk to her. Do you happen to have a fishing rod? Or perhaps an oversized lobster pot? No, wait. That's probably cruel. Hmm... How does one ethically catch a mermaid? By just being a lonely sailor boy and sitting out by the ocean. Then they'll find you, and then that's when you can catch them. Actually, I don't even know. Ugh! I think I've got seaweed in my bra! Ah, <sighs> well... No time to fish it out now! I've got a mermaid to find. Uh, 
I'm confused. I didn't see any mermaid. Okay, so I steered my ship full speed directly towards a giant rock. And? Don't tell me you've never had mermaid fantasies before. Well, I guess... <laughs> Alright, fine, you got me on a technicality, but still. Do you... Where, oh, where did that gorgeous mermaid go? I don't know, because I didn't see one. Ugh. I didn't swallow any seawater, so there's no need for that. What was I doing? Okay, well. Um, no thanks. You should probably just stick this in a box and bury it. Don't bother drawing a map. But then the fruit is gonna go bad. Wait a minute. That was you on the rock? But... But... You're not a beautiful mermaid! You're just some ho-hum landlubber! I wrecked my ship for you?! Apparently. So I guess you need to get your eyes checked. The only mermaid we have in this game is Bon Jovi, and... Well... Speaking of which... She was being run through again, and I mean, I got them all, so no point worrying. But yeah, so she's the only other mermaid we have around here. I need to drown my sorrows. Where is the rum? Butter ice cream. But why is the rum gone? Hmm. I can't help feeling a bit salty. And it isn't because I took a dip in the ocean. Prepare to be boarded. You've unlocked Captain Kira. I can imagine some people... Okay, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Let me get this straight. You very nearly lured me to my doom, but then you did an about-face and rescued me from the water? Talk about mixed messages. I mean, I wasn't doing this on purpose, mind you. I can't tell if you're blushing or if you're sunburned. Just how long were you laying out on that rock? I don't know. The, the intro didn't tell me. It's not my fault. I was three sheets to the wind when I steered towards that rock. My depth perception was scuppered. I still say you need to get your eyes checked. Just imagine. An underwater kingdom of coral reefs, colorful fishes, and glittering sunken treasure. <sighs> I wish I could be part of that world. I mean, I already made that joke like four years ago, so... Under the sea! Under the sea! Okay, no. I don't want to get sued. I can't... Let me get this... Avast ye, scurvy dog! Actually, I quite like dogs. Maybe I should find a different insult. Yeah, I don't even know... what that insult means, so... Eh. Um... No, thanks. My poor ship is resting in pieces at the bottom of the sea. And I'm... the Rex sole survivor. Didn't you have, like, a crew or something? Was it just you? Makes for a pretty good tragic backstory, doesn't it? Don't worry. My crew actually mutinied an abandoned ship weeks ago. I was the only one on board. Okay, that answers my question. Oh goody, tragic backstory time. Seeing as my ship was destroyed because of you and through no fault of my own, I'm looking to commandeer a new one. Point me in the direction of the nearest marina, will you? Oh sure, no fault of you. Even though I did nothing wrong. I was just sitting there. Menacingly. In case you were wondering, no. I don't have any gold teeth. Oral is very important to me. Ah. Uh, oral hygiene, I mean. I, I visit my dentist at least once every six months for a thorough cleaning. Oh no. Oh, jeez, and it's like... And I'm here worried about Desdemona. But you're already... 
I tell you. What? Just because I'm a pirate doesn't mean I'm some horrible smelling crazy rapscallion. Come here. Sniff my neck and tell me I don't smell like coconut blossoms and sun-drenched sandalwood zest. Okay, that's not something you have anyone tell you regularly. Smell my neck! I'd invite you for tea in my captain's cabin, but my tea, and my cabin for that matter, are currently inside a sunken ship. Yes, which clearly was not my fault. Am I disappointed? Disappointed! Oh yes, but actually, no. My hopes and dreams might be dead in the water, but there's something about you that makes me feel optimistic. I guess that's something to work for, right? Just in a vast yeast. Hmm. Well, all right. Seeing as I recently lost all my worldly possessions in a shipwreck, I'll accept your gift. Now we're getting somewhere. Let me see, do we have any... Uh, no, for some reason I was here thinking that she might have, like, different... things, you know. Sometimes it happens, and... Oh, boy. Oh, wait, you know, that's right! I just remembered. Well... Mm. You know what, I'll do it now. Just because. So the Monster Girls got some animated poses recently with the new event. Well, the last one! And one of the ones before that. So let me see. Let me run through them really quickly. Yep, so, here you go. So yeah, now you can have all them being all nice and animated and such. I forgot who else besides them. <laughs> There's Quill Zone going at it. Because let's face it, if I don't do this now, I'm gonna forget later. Yeah. Okay, what does this look like? Yowie. Okay. <laughs> the nice little effect there with her scales. And spectrum. Wonder what this is gonna look like. <laughs> Okay. Does Cassia have one, or...? Cora? Let's see. Yes, she does. Cora? Oh man, she just... tightens that whip... bandage... thing. Yeah, so a lot of the past girls started getting animated poses and such. Oh, right, and they reran Nina's Oktoberfest thingy for St. Patrick's Day because it totally makes sense. And, well, I mean, I already have it, so. No worries there. The police dropped by looking for a masked vigilante. I cleared your internet history and pretended not to speak English. Okay, well, here's her, her animated pose. You know, after a few cuts of the sight, you start looking pretty good. It looks like she's... From a certain angle, it almost looks like she's patting her head while she's giving her salute. I got hit in the noggin by a volleyball because I forgot that I was corporeal. How do you manage to keep track of all these things? Oh my gosh! Like, comment, subscribe! I can't even process how happy I am. And this is probably the only time you'll ever hear somebody saying like, comment, and subscribe on my videos. <laughs> yeah, I believe... You don't get to hear this in this version of the game, but apparently it's in the other version of the game that I can never show. So, hey, it's a... 
it's a nice way that I can hear it here and not have to worry about YouTube getting angry later. Does Pamu have one? If I tell you my number, will you send me a picture of your junk? I love junk. Oh, look! You dressed me up like a whore! Now we're talking! Okay. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything! <laughs> okay, I think that's also from the other version of the game. But, yeah, I'm like, what the f- <gasps> I did no such thing! Oh, heck! My attack failed! Now the combat encounter is over! Okay, Luna... Yes! After my long travels, I have finally gotten more stuff! It never gets old! Okay, now we can see Luna here. Oh wait, I just realized, did I leave Spectrum in animated mode? Fly me to the moon, and let me play among the stars. Okay, Eva? I am... happy. I feel like I'll be happy forever. Okay. Karma? You are a pillar of allure, an ocean of gladness. Your love is ready to face the darkness. Oh my word! You still surprise me every time with your gifts. My sexy chosen one! Mm, okay. Sutra? Come, run with me. Let us chase the wind together. My deepest thanks. I do not deserve such gifts. <laughs> so plentiful. Come to think of it, I don't know if I've even shown off the DX wedding dress. Well, there's still so much I have yet to show off, let's be real. I'm still not thrilled about the name on her, I'm not gonna lie. Look who decided to show their pretty little mug again! Fair warning. I'm gonna cry, and my mascara's gonna make me look like a melting raccoon. This is the best day ever. I guess Cassie is that excited that she can finally move. Of course, that's just reused dialogue from the wedding dresses, so... Won't you play with me? Oh jeez, thanks. If I was a princess, I'd bake you a cake or something. I'm sorry I ate your houseplant. I hope you two weren't close. There aren't any schools for kitties. But if you want, we can go somewhere private, and I can teach you a lesson. Okay, we get the same dialogue with this, and... Yeah, I think someone was even pointing it out, just how different the quality sounds between the... Her regular stuff, and then... This one. Okay, well, anyway... Let, <clears throat> excuse me, let me go ahead and let's go back to Kira here. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. I really should dedicate some video showing all this stuff off. Seeing as my ship was destroyed because of you and through no fault of my... I shall never forgive you for having two legs instead of a glorious fishtail. Never! Well, pardon me for being born like this. That being said... I have to admit, there is something rather captivating about you. Care to have a pint with me at the local oyster bar? But why is the rum gone? You still haven't answered that. But okay, sure. I'm dropping anchor! That's my way of saying I've decided to stick around for a while. Well, not decided. I don't actually have a choice. But I'm not upset about it anymore. So you're gonna stop making me feel bad and guilt-tripping me? I'd invite you for tea in my captain's cabin. Shiver me timbers, that tickles! <laughs> you lied to me! You said you weren't upset about it, and there you were, guilt-tripping me all over again, and... <sighs> if you keep guilt-tripping me, I'm not gonna hold back. Pirates versus ninjas. Who would win? You better answer carefully. Shibuki, help me out here. Phew, I've been running on tree branches all day to find you. But I'm right here. Okay, well. I, well, 
What am I saying? Some of the DLC girls have gotten phone flings that I have yet to go through. But yeah, obviously. Oy, oy, oy. It just keeps piling up on me. Anyhow. I'm dropping anchor. I love my name. Kira. Kira. It sounds shimmery, don't you think? I guess so. I'm not really one to view how a name sounds shimmery. How do you see sounds? Hmm. Well, all right. A vast ye scurvy dog. Actually, I quite like dogs. Maybe I should find a different insult. Okay, I've been sitting here for a while. Doesn't look like she says anything new, so let's just load her up on gifts and move on. Most people surrender the moment they see my pirate flag. But you're not afraid of me, are you, landlubber? Not exactly. Honestly, it's a nice change of pace. I may be a pirate, but I'm not a criminal. And before you ask... No, I don't know what a synonym is. I do. But, oh well. If we're going to be friends, I suggest you brush up on your pirate's code. After all, knowing the rules makes breaking them way more fun. <laughs> well, you know the rules, and so do I. Okay, you see, the pool wasn't there before. Okay, I... Yeah, I don't remember the pool being there before, so that's brand new to me. Okay, well, because let's see. Do you say anything new now? Is it just me, or is there something about Bonnebel? That long red hair and those shimmering eyes. I, she would make a beautiful mermaid. Well, somebody was way ahead of you there. Almost five years ago, to be exact. Or four years ago, I don't even remember. Whenever episode 34 was recorded, around that year. Because, yeah, this is like, what, episode 218? So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know anymore. Eventually, all the years just kind of blend together, and you don't even realize how long it's been. You're not the only one with interesting friends. My list of acquaintances includes a crew of talking vegetable pirates, a well-dressed sea sponge, and a volleyball. Wilson! And obviously VeggieTales and Spingebill. I refuse to call him anything but Spingebill because he stopped being funny years ago and he lost his identity because a certain company that is not being looked at very fondly right now has just been over-airing the poor sponge, and it's been over 20 years now, jeez. That show has been on for so long, and it kind of stopped being good after a few years, in my opinion, anyway. Is it just me, or Want to know a secret? I actually give a lot of my loot to charity. The needy get some aid, and I can write the donation off on my taxes. It's a win-win. I see this as an absolute win. You're not the only- Is it just me? I sailed my ship through the Bermuda Parallelogram once. It's a much safer route than passing through the Bermuda Triangle. I don't know why more people don't do it. Where is the Bermuda Parallelogram? Most people know about the Bermuda Triangle, at least. A.K.A. the zone where normal things don't happen very often. Calm waters never made a skilled sailor, but let me tell you, chilling on a boat on a windless day with nothing to do but sunbathe is pretty fantastic. Just don't forget the SPF. Yeah, because that is no laughing matter, let me tell you. Even if it's not sunny out there, there's still going to be the UV rays. And, I don't know, she doesn't seem to save much else, so why not? Ooh, treasure! And I didn't even have to work for it! Maybe I will keep you around. 
But you're kind of stuck with me, so you don't really have too much of a choice. I'm thinking about putting together a crew. Would you be interested? Have you got your sea legs? I have my legs. Great! I like having you around. Also, I need someone who's willing to swab the poop deck. There's always a catch. Ahoy, Mihaji! Okay. Let me see. You're friends with an actual pirate. Your awkward pirate bestie. And okay. Because let's talk to her first. You're not the only one with interest. My favorite type of music is pirate metal. Seriously, you should look it up. Hmm. Never heard of pirate metal. I wonder what that would be like. I'm thinking about getting tattooed. A rooster on one foot, a pig on the other. It might not be the cutest look, but it's supposed to bring sailors good luck. Never heard of that. Narwhal, narwhal, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome. Mm. Where does that song come from? I... Like, huh. Why does that sound so familiar? I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but I do like that one coffee shop with the mermaid on the cup. <sighs> I could stare at her all day. Although their logo doesn't make too much sense to me. I mean, obviously, you have her, her head, her torso, and then the fish tails. Like, what? You're not the only one with interesting. <laughs> no, no, no! Stop that! Or ah, uh, uh, <laughs> you walk the plank. <laughs> Jokes on you! You have no power here. Uh, let me just give her this. Ooh, treasure! What a lovely evening walk. Next time, remind me to tell you the tale of the ghost ship, doomed to sail eternally under the full moon looking for souls to steal. It's spooky. Is that related to the Flying Dutchman? Or Davy Jones? Do you fear death, Jack Sparrow? Anyhow. There's... Something I'd like to ask you, but I'm a little nervous. See, I like to write poetry, and I was wondering if you might let me read some of it to you? I don't see why not. Fabulous! If you had said no, I'd have had to kill you. Dead men tell no tales and all that. I have a reputation to uphold. Okay, well then. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to spend my impromptu shore leave with you. I'm truly having a whale of a time. I bet you've been waiting to use that one on me. And Wow, she's getting pretty expensive here. The magic candles. Like, we're already hitting some of the heavy hitting sort of things there. Okay, well, let's see. You have to say something new by now. Chests of gold are great and all, but the real treasure is the ability to retire young and live in a sweet little cottage by the sea, nursing sick and injured exotic birds back to health. I was almost going to be like, is she going to say that the real treasure is the friends we made along the way? And Nope. I mean, that's not a bad deal. Especially if you are able to live comfortably and do what you do, or do what you enjoy doing. Ah, I can't speak. Okay, well. A word of advice for you: never drink seawater. Don't ask me how I know. I guess it's probably best that we don't know then. There's no reason one can't be the scourge of the seven seas and a fancy lady at the same time. In fact. I have been known to carry a cutlass in one hand, and a teacup in the other. Ooh, classy. And dangerous. If you put a conch shell to your ear, you might hear the ocean calling. Or you might get a little pinch from a hermit crab. I'm just saying, be careful. Mm. So look before you listen. 
is what you're saying. Wow, I got that like four times in a row. Okay, fine, well. Blow me down, I wasn't expecting that. I believe thanks are in order, so thanks. You're welcome, although it's just a shell from the beach we're gonna go to, presumably. That was lovely, although I'm a bit disappointed we didn't see any mermaids. Maybe next time. You're still going on about that, aren't you? Have I told you about my special pirate compass? It doesn't point north. It points towards whatever my heart wants most in the world. Okay, apparently more Jack Sparrow references. Lately, it's been pointing quite adamantly towards you. But why are you laughing while saying that? You're hurting my feelings and giving me mixed signals. Your kisses make my head spin. It's like I'm caught in a whirlpool, happily drowning in the depths of your affection. Now that's pretty poetic right there, and there we go, there's the dratted enchanted scarves. I knew it was a matter of time, but then it isn't really that long because, yeah, we get the magic candles, then the enchanted scarves, which jam and then the magic slippers which I swear didn't used to be this expensive. You almost feel like was there some kind of a difficulty spike somewhere along the line here? <laughs> of course it doesn't matter because I'm stupidly overpowered but still you do notice these things after a while. Okay do you say anything brand new now? Truth be told I don't think I'd mind being marooned with you. Well, you best stop believing in maroon stories, Miss Kira. You're in one. If you put a conch shell, I've decided to name my next ship after you. I'm thinking either Marshmallow's Revenge or Cutie McSquishy Face. Which one sounds more badass? If we're looking specifically between the two of those, I think Marshmallow's Revenge, although... I don't think they sound threatening enough. I mean, of course, obviously, the Queen Anne's Revenge is the one we're probably thinking of here. But anyway... If you put a conch shell... Truth be told, take a walk on the beach with me? I want to see if any of my stuff has washed up with the tide yet. Well, I mean, we were on the beach already, but... Well, I guess nothing came up. I've decided... I'm thinking of redesigning my pirate flag. I want it to look fierce and threatening, so... A kitty cat? Nothing's more terrifying than a creature with knives in its feet. Well, you have me there. Especially if you think about it that way. And I think... Let's just move on. Shell... Blow me down, I w Being with you made today feel very special. I never knew I could enjoy wandering around on land so much. And, of course, Bon Jovi is right there. You're still going on about that. This is going to be like her Captain Ahab sort of story. Okay, well... Let's give her the eight dratted enchanted scarves. I've sailed on a lot of ships in my time, but never a relationship. I feel like I'm foundering here. Welcome to my world. Thank you for guiding me through these unfamiliar waters. I'm very much enjoying the journey. Well, hey, it could be worse. We could be on we could be on stranger tides. Like I said, I mean. You're pretty much just asking me to make references to those movies. I've been in such a good mood lately. I can't stop whistling. I sure hope I don't accidentally whistle up a storm. Is that a thing that could happen? Well then. Take a walk on the beach with me? I bought us these matching straw hats. I thought it would be cute if we wore them and called ourselves the straw hat sailors. <laughs> 
Yes, because if we called ourselves the Straw Hat Pirates, well then somebody would come knocking on our door. And yeah, we don't want that. But one thing's for sure is though, it wouldn't be Zoro. <laughs> Take a walk on the beach with me? I bought after a long day of sailing. All I want to do is sit next to you and watch the sunset. Ain't that romantic. Truth be told, I've decided Truth be told. <laughs> How do you do that? It feels like I'm being tickled by a sweet little kraken. Well, first I take my mouse cursor and then I do this. That's how I do it. Okay, well, let's see. We're almost done here. You are a veritable treasure trove of goodness and generosity. Why, thank you. Okay, let's take her to the movies. Oh, how romantic it was when the mermaid fell in love with the human! I'm feeling inspired. Let's go to the nearest beach and hold hands while we frolic in the surf! What? Hand-holding? Okay, no. <laughs> Alright, and yeah, obviously now we're kind of dipping back to the Little Mermaid again. Alright. I guess let's just give her the Bewitch Jam and be done with it. So yeah, I don't think she says anything new here at all. I might be sailing close to the wind here, but I simply must tell you what's on my heart. I've fallen into an ocean of love with you. I'm in love with you. Do you feel the same? She really is very poetic. You've made me the happiest woman in all the seven seas. Let's celebrate! Oh, goody. You may not be a mermaid, but you were clearly mermaid for me. I bet you were waiting to use that on somebody, too. And shiver me timbers, you and Kara are now in love. Like a siren, you call to me. Ten out of ten. We'd sail directly into a big rock again. Okay, now she's singing a different tune, speaking of sirens. Do you want to try on my pirate hat? I think you'd look really cute wearing it. And only it. Uh... Okay. You have impeccable manners and impressive hygiene. You might think a pirate wouldn't care about that sort of thing, but you'd be wrong. I appreciate it very much. That's pretty much what I've gathered, especially what you were talking about before. With oral hygiene and not the other thing. I'm very sleepy. Would you sing me a sea shanty while I drift off? The one about the Wallaby, please. I don't know that one. I know about my Jolly Sailor Bolt. Upon one summer's morning. Okay, no, I'm not gonna sing it. Plus, there's other people on YouTube who sing it a lot better than I do, so... Go look up somebody... One of them... For, the, for a better effect, I should say. After a long day of sailing, all I want to do is sit next to you and watch the sunset. You may not be a mermaid, but you... It's official! You are my soul matey. Okay, so got that. Yeah, so if I'm just kind of here, like, hmm. For some reason, it doesn't feel like there's as much dialogue this time around, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Your hands are so soft. It's like the caress of a warm, subtly sea breeze. Gentle and sweet. Hmm, I see. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I'm not sure if I'm gonna... <laughs> wait. Let me see. What about... Did I show off any of their outfits? Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to spend some diamonds on her here for the outfits. You may not be a mermaid, but you were clearly mermaid for me. Okay, well... Too bad I can't use some of this, but 
Ugh. Yeah, because I'm just here like... <laughs> the, the LTE coming up, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Ah, this reminds me of my days as a cabin girl under the Dread Pirate Roberta. She threatened my life on a daily basis, but she also taught me everything she knew. So I guess it all worked out in the end. Mm -hmm. Your hands are so soft. It's like the caress of a warm southerly sea breeze. Gentle and sweet. Huh, she actually has a, a yellow or gold flag here. Okay, and here's her animated pose. Nice! I've got my swimsuit and my flippy floppies. I'm ready to be on a boat. I'm on a boat! Yep, it's that song. <laughs> Straight from the song itself, those lyrics. Mm. Your hands are so soft. It's like the caress of a warm, subtly sea breeze. Gentle and sweet. And she has a little parrot there now. What if I put a ring on it? I've always wanted to be married at sea. And since I'm a ship captain, I can officiate the wedding myself. I now pronounce us mateys for life. <laughs> Wait, is that why Barbosa was the one that married Will and Elizabeth? I don't remember. I, I saw that movie years ago and I... I'm not going to sit through three hours of that all over again, so... Yeah, if anyone can answer that question, go ahead. Because, yeah, I'm not answering that... Or, I'm not watching that movie all over again. Not all three hours. Wow, this is pretty fancy, though. Mm -hmm. Your hands are so soft. It's like the caress of a warm, subtly sea breeze. Gentle and sweet. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. Okay, no, but... It makes me think of the goblet that that stupid king was carrying around. I can't help it. Animated pose? <sighs> it's not easy getting dressed when you wear this many buckles. But it's worth the effort to look as good as I do. Well, I guess we have a point there. And... Yep, so this is what this looks like. And now... Oh, let me circle back around here for the holiday outfits. Of course, it ain't the holidays anymore, but... Whatever. That red-suited guy with the beard. The one that laughs like... Yo-ho-ho-ho! -ho! And carries a big bag of loot? He's got to be a pirate, right? No, he's kind of the opposite of, of a pirate. He's more like a jolly prowler that breaks into people's homes and leaves stuff. So, yeah, he's kind of doing the opposite. Okay. Which kind of reminds me of Smeed from the Peter Pan movie. From the Disney Peter Pan movie, of course. But, yeah. At least just with that sort of get-up. Anyhow, yeah, I guess that's everything for Kira for the time being. Now I guess I can go back to trying to view the animated poses for some of the other girls here to round out the video. Why do they call them fingers? I've never seen them sing. Yes. You are my dream come true. And that's why she's kind of bouncing back and forth while she holds that pillow. You! Did you know that my shirt has a message written in Braille? See if you can read it. Okay, no, you don't have one of those. So I clicked on you for nothing. You're a cutie. Don't believe what those other people say. <laughs> Just kidding. They think you're cute, too. I love any outfit that has a dash of rainbows. Ha! <laughs> references! Yep, references everywhere in this... in this game. Which is why I'm kind of amazed that they took Eero to the next level in Hush Hush. 
She went from blatant reference to Rainbow Dash to, like, legitimate character with a deep backstory, and... Yeah, I was having a conversation with somebody a few days back, and... I really wish Sad Panda would do some more stuff kind of like Hush Hush and Cabin Fever. Because clearly, they can pull it off. I mean, don't get me wrong, Crush Crush is a very fun game, and it always will be, but... Yeah, like, if I ever want to dabble into something a little bit, you know... Oh, wait. Ah. Put her back. Yeah, I'm just kind of here, like... I'd like to see what they could pull off. I mean... Of course, Hush Hush took quite a while to get finished and all, so I wouldn't be expecting anything anytime soon, but... Oh, well... I'd still would like to see them take, like, another shot at some more visual novel stuff. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Trust me, sugar, I'm a southern girl with a penchant for bacon. This will only end well. Ah, oh, I see you. I point at you. Ha ha ha. Now for magic music time. Yes! Although, yeah, I'm still not thrilled about the name for you, or just, yeah. Oh my stars, I feel like I'm about to faint. You made me happier than a bear on a bicycle. It's too bad she didn't say the bear in the little car. I know, well, so look at her swaying them hips. Well, speaking of her, does she even have anything like that? Did you hear about Bonnebel's secret ingredient? Apparently, the health inspector will be investigating soon. I'm never gonna get this, am I? I am pleased to see you. I find you intellectually stimulating and physically attractive. Forgive my sentimental romanticism. I understand now the meaning of these gestures. Thank you. You are accurately interpreting my material desires. Meanwhile, I'm trying to understand your gestures right here. But, okay, that's what hers looks like. What about Beverly? Panda bears are hot! So excited! Come on and slam! And welcome to my fan! She's kind of got her paw up there like sort of this come-hither kind of thing going for it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. And... Daria? I enjoy everything about you. That's actually mathematically impossible. I'm running a defrag as we speak. Okay. I like this garment for some reason. I feel it adequately portrays my desire to be desired. I'm sure it does. Okay, so that's hers. Charlotte? Would you massage my feet? The itching powder's just on the shelf there. Okay, I think that was also from... Well... I think this is supposed to be... from the other version, but... there is no voice dialogue for it. I see many, many small deaths in our future. But, oh well. Yeah, because... I know some of the stuff that goes on in the other version, but... Yeah, I haven't heard, like, some of the exact voice lines for it. Odongo? Hi! I've been cooking all day, and I'm exhausted. What say you pour me a bubble bath and scrub me clean? Rice! Okay, she doesn't have anything new here, so... I don't know, maybe that's it. Which, I mean, of course, nothing to complain about here, but yeah, I'm just a little like... Hmm. Okay, so this just leaves him with Nightingale, Grace, Distamona, and then Abby when she comes out. And Ranma and Bree once I finally get around to the phone fling for her. Okay then, well, I guess that'll about do it for now. 
this. In the meantime, yeah, hopefully I can see about recording more videos in the future, but... Yeah, I guess stay tuned for next week, because... Yeah, eventually I'm gonna be having to record for the next Spring Fling event. But anyway, until then, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with whatever else I do. Stay golden, and later, folks. Amigos, adiós, adiós, el silencio loco Bailando, bailando Amigos, adiós, adiós, el silencio loco